guys welcome to epic kirby um today i'm sharing my personal paranormal stories i'm also including some of hannah's because it has to do with this house which is the house that i live in and also her and my brother brian believe that i brought something into this house so that's why i'm also going to be including her stories um some of them are kind of shared because we kind of had the same experiences with some things. Um, one of them, we can both hear, um, we're both like scared of the upstairs. I know usually it's like more like downstairs that would be more scary, but I'm only scared of downstairs um, with a couple of rooms and spiders. But uh, we feel like it's more upstairs, which to start out there was an old man that did die here um it wasn't even that long ago well, we moved here like three almost four years ago and there was a lesbian couple that lived here before i don't remember how long they lived here i think well, i can't remember it was like a few years and then there was this old couple that lived here before them and he died in my parents' bedroom, which is right there. <laughs> um, I know I have felt him before. And um, one of the biggest things is I really felt him in while I was cleaning the bathroom, I was cleaning the toilet. And I really thought someone was standing behind me. And I even turned around and it was all like, hello? Because of how strong that feeling was. And I sat there for a minute afterwards and I'm like, okay, kind of like, just think about it. Um, I, I'm an empath, so I mean, I kind of feel like I can feel energies. And I really felt like it was the old man. I didn't feel scared. I don't think this is like a bad being. Um, so him, I'm not too scared about. Um, yeah. <laughs> there were a couple things that have happened that did really scare me. Um, first of all, the front door, I know I've seen it turn by itself. I know that has happened. <laughs> um, another thing is with the downstairs, um, I am afraid of, <clears throat> I get a bad feeling in the family room and the storage room don't know what it is exactly i just get a bad feeling from it um hannah has said that she also gets a bad feeling and that when she's ever in the laundry room she sees a figure go by from like her bedroom into the family room and she's also seen figures in the storage room as well <sighs> i have never seen a figure um, but I trust Hannah, so I believe that really did happen. <laughs> With everything that's going on, I don't, I don't doubt it, honestly. I get, I do get a lot of feelings in my room as well at night, um, but I feel like most of the time, that's just being in the dark and, and um, I'm also scared of the fan, the front room at night like when it's dark and like I don't know I try to like in my old house I was able to just walk through the house in the dark and not be scared really at all but in this one it's just mm, like every time I have to use the bathroom I can't walk to my room without having to look back into the family room in the hallway I just I have to check it's just freaky i don't know anyways uh, this is kind of like an old story um in my old house there were times well, it was actually more recently closer to when we moved out um but it was kind of over time i don't know i can't really explain anyways um there was a lady that I felt like would whisper my name 
every once in a while. Um, very audible. I knew it was my name. Um, there was even one time I was in a car and Hannah was sitting in the back seat and I swear she called my name. I turn around and Hannah's looking at me like, what? <laughs> she had no idea why I was looking, giving her a weird look. And I'm like, um, didn't you say my name? And she didn't. I was freaked out. And then also we got home. Oh my gosh. We got home. Two things happened. I don't remember the first thing. But the second thing is I kept hearing knocks on the backsliding door. Like a few times. I have it a few times. And I kept asking people. I'm like, hey, did you do this? Please, please tell me if you did this. Because I'm way too freaked out. And nothing happened. No one did anything. It was just... Mm, it's just me. <sighs> Anyways. Another one of Hannah's stories. Um, my grandpa has just died. I think it was about two years now. Um, and so about a year ago, <clears throat> Hannah, she was just sitting in her room alone and and she she told me that she felt his presence I I have never felt his presence I know my grandma she definitely does she's told me plenty of times that she has felt grandpa um I just think it's really weird that he would visit my sister-in-law they only like barely knew each other before he died and um he was also in he was he was you know in the army he fought in vietnam um we've got a picture in the front room of him um i don't know i don't know what to say about that honestly it's just I guess it's just been so recent that it's still very, it's a touchy subject. Um, yeah, I, I still don't understand why he would visit her, but he did. Um, I don't know if he like knew that that was Brian's room, my brother, but Anyway, moving on. Um, another thing that's kind of been over, just over the years, um, I've, I've never played Bloody Mary. I've always been too scared of it. Um, but I can, I can never, <laughs> I'm just terrified of mirrors. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> like I could never go to the bathroom in the dark, which I know some people do, which is I think is weird, but mostly weird because of the mirror thing. I, I always feel like I can see something when I look. Anyways, I had in my old house I had a a mirror that was like on the other side of my bed. You know, like my bed. There's the end of my bed right here, and it could be like on this wall. So like at night, it'd be what I'd be looking at. And I swear like all the time, I'd see something in it. And so I had, I ended up having to just turn it to around to the wall. Um, I know I have a mirror right here, but I have a wall, <clears throat> that wall with the, the keys and my light on it. It kind of uh, blocks that from my face on the pillow at night. So it do that doesn't really bug me because it's, spot but I feel like if I had it anywhere else in my room I wouldn't be able to do it and I'd have to turn it around <sighs> which honestly looks scary to me <laughs> anyways another thing is if you watch my other video my cleaning my room video I think there's a ghost in my house 
Um, my ring light turned off. I don't have a ring in my hair. Okay, anyway, my ring light turned off all by itself. Since then, it has happened again. Um, it was barely on, like for like five minutes and it turned off. And of course I unplugged it, plugged it back in and it was fine. Like no lights are out. It's as bright as it should be. <laughs> um, when it's, I mean, I honestly kind of just want to put this out there. If y'all have rain lights and this happens to you and you know why other than paranormal stuff, please comment them down below. So I'm not so freaked out all the time. <laughs> Like, if there's an actual reason behind this, I feel so much better. <laughs> Almost everything. Um, I know that there's more. I, I've forgotten them. I used to have, like, a Twitter page written down a whole bunch of things that I had that would happen on, like, a daily basis. But I can't get on it. I, I guess I didn't save the username and password. Um, but I don't know what happened to it. So some of those things I've kind of forgotten. I feel like ever since I moved into this house, just, <laughs> there's been so much that happened. I can't remember it all. Um, but for my next video, next Friday, <laughs> I am going to be doing a 3 a.m. video. I'm not going to be summoning anything. I'm not going to be playing any paranormal games or anything that would invite anything in. Um, all I want to do is just from three to four, capture what happens and share it with you guys. Um, three to four, which is our, um, is known as like the most paranormal hour of all the hours. <laughs> um, I first heard this when I was like, I don't know, eight. I was at a sleepover and um, the girls, the, the girl's house that we went to, her mom was telling us about how three to four is a witch's hour and like not every like nightly, she has to get up at three to pee, <laughs> to use the bathroom. Um, and she sees a man walking down the hallway every time. So since then I've been terrified of 3 a.m. <laughs> but I kind of just, I kind of want to know what's going on here. So I'm just going to try to do more videos about paranormal, try to investigate it more. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. For my next video just trying to see what happens at 3 a.m. and go from there um, if I do get more bad feelings and experiences I may have to like sage this out um, and other things I know other I know just white sage doesn't completely make things go away so I have to do other things. Anyways, I'll look into it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rambling. I'll look into it. 3 a.m. video next week. Look out for it. Um, so that's it for this video. Like, comment, and share. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe to my vlog channel, Epic Vlogs. Remember to follow James, and I love you guys. Bye.